Welcome back everyone, Mean Poo here, and today I just wanted to show you how much performance you can gain by increasing your core clock on your GPU. This might not work with all Nvidia cards, and it's pretty much hit or miss. Your results may vary, as you will see with these tests. This is a relatively easy process, so if you have it, go ahead and install MSI Afterburner. Click the OC icon located at the top left. Click scan and wait. Next, click the test button so the program can build your curve. This may take a while. If you want, you can click the three bars just to the left of the core clock to watch the software work. When finished, apply the settings and save them if you want to one of the empty save slots. Here we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider with the same settings that I used in a previous video. This is also after the repaste. Whether it helps with FPS, that's up for debate, but here I gained 4 FPS as you can see. Here is Red Dead Redemption 2 using the same settings. I ran this a few times and the only thing that fluctuated was the min and max. When it's all said and done, there's a gain of 4 FPS. In Time Spy, everything has increased and this too is after the repaste. Next is Fire Strike, same thing here, increase across the board. Here we have the Valley benchmark with the first at stock settings we get 66.4 FPS. Moving over we have 180 on the core clock and increases to 68.9. Last benchmark for Valley has the core clock at 180 with a memory clock of 100. This reaches to 69.5 FPS making a grand total of 3.1. FPS gain. Right. Last, I have Borderlands 3. I ran the in game benchmark using DirectX 11 on Ultra and got 41.42 as the highest average FPS. Using DirectX 12 and the same clocks, I got an average of 38.32 FPS, which is worse. I then dropped down to high settings using 180 on the core and 100 on the memory. Using DirectX 11 and 12, 47.13 was the highest average FPS. For the final generic in-game benchmark, I went with the medium settings, the previous clock adjustments, and DirectX 11. The highest average FPS was 72.84, and this should be the best preset to use while playing the game if you're using this machine. While the in-game benchmark FPS may seem low or high, it's just an estimate on how your game may play. Here is some gameplay using the medium preset. All tests in this video did not cause the machine to throttle and the fans were set to max. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mean Poo, out.